and welcome to our lesson on applying Pythagoras' theorem to solve problems involving the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. We're going to begin with question A, where we have a 6 by 8 centimeter right angle triangle. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the area of the squares on the two shorter sides is equal to the area of the square on the hypotenuse side. And the hypotenuse is the side which is opposite the right angle. So the area of the square on this side, on the 6 cm side, is 6 squared. The area of the square on the 8 cm side is 8 squared. And the area of the square on the hypotenuse side is hypotenuse squared. And the two smaller areas add together to make the area of the side on the hypotenuse. So we have 6 squared which is 36 plus 8 squared which is 64 and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 36 and 64 is 100 and that is the hypotenuse squared. Now we have to square root both sides because the square root and the square will cancel. And the square root of 100 is 10. So 10 will equal the hypotenuse. So this length is 10 centimeters. Okay, for question B, we have a 2 by 6 centimeter triangle where this side, which is opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the area of this plus the area of the square on the 6 cm side will equal the area of the square on the hypotenuse side. So 2 squared, which is this area, plus the 6 squared, which is this area, will equal the hypotenuse squared, which is this area. So 4 plus 36 will equal the hypotenuse squared. 4 plus 36 is 40. And we can square root both sides to cancel with the squared. And the square root of 40 is 6.3. So this length is 6.3 centimeters. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, so do you want to try and calculate the hypotenuse in question C by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question C, we know the sign that is opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us the area of the square on this side, which is 4 squared plus the area of the square on the 8 centimeter side, which is 8 squared, is equal to the area on the square of the hypotenuse side, which is the hypotenuse squared. So 4 squared plus 8 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 4 squared is 16, 8 squared is 64, and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So 16 plus 64, we know is 18, and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared. We'll square root both sides, so the square root and the square will cancel. And the square root of 80 to one decimal place is 8.9 centimeters. So this length is 8.9. Okay, do you want to pause the video and try question D? And you can resume that when you're ready. So with question D, we need to remember our bearings where we have north, east, south, and west. Simon is orientating. He wants four kilometers due east. So he starts here. He wants east for four kilometers. And then due south for three kilometers. So due south for three kilometers. 
How far is he from his starting point? Well, you can see that the, each of these angles is 90 degrees. So this is your 90 degree angle. And this is your hypotenuse. And we're trying to find the length of this line. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem, which is the area of this squared, 3 squared, plus the area of the 4 squared, which is 16. And that will equal the area of the side on the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse squared. So 3 squared plus 4 squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and that equals hypotenuse squared. This is 25. And now we can square root of both sides. The square and the square root will cancel. So the square root of 25 is 5. You can see he is 5 kilometers from his starting point. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. And thanks again and take care.